Hello. Welcome everybody, my name is Alphonse Krug. I'm the product manager of uh, the hematology line of Human. We are a German company and here I would like to introduce you the Huma Count 5D, which is a five-part analyzer and it has the nice function that it's working not only on EDTA tube, but it's also working on capillary tubes. Capillary tubes are important to um, get small volumes, especially for children. And it's very easy on this analyzer to switch between venous samples and, and, and capillary samples. I will show you. If you click here, you can run a venous sample. If you click here, you have a capillary sample. Both types you can run in CBC mode only or in the full five-part analysis. On the next step, I will show you how we proceed with the capillary, with the capillary samples. First, the analyzer helps you to, to define a, de, uh, a defined volume for the diluent and therefore we go to the main menu and go to add diluent and with the next step the analyzer will fill that tube with, uh, with diluent automatically 480 microliter you don't have to pipe it by yourself the process is very simple you just press the button the diluent gets filled in as you see then it's finished the analyzer tells you you close that bullet tube put it on a rack fill all your tubes you need for the pediatric clinics uh, that day and bring all that tubes to the pediatric clinics in the pediatrics clinics we would now collect the capillary blood and we will show you with the next sequence um, how this will be done. Here you see I punctured my finger and fill now that capillary tube unto the very end and if it's full we only have to make sure on the tip of that um, capillary tube there is no blood on the surroundings. We wipe that off and put it in, into the pre-filled bullet tubes. In the next step I take my capillary blood sample and put it just in the pre-filled diluent mix it until the blood comes out of the capillary tube as you see it's going the capillary tube is empty and we can now measure that sample on the analyzer for that we go back to the measurement screen and we selected already the capillary blood sample as five part diff analysis and now we only have to administer that sample press the button and the analyzer will do the analysis and after one minute we get the results. After one minute you get the results of the analyzer, you see the WBC values and all the full five part diff analysis together with the atypical lymphocytes and the large immature cells plus the uh, red blood cells and all the parameters we derive from the red blood cells and the platelets. Here you would also get some clinical uh, important messages like for here uh, a, a, a doubt for immature cells you would get also anemia results or a, a hint for um, for thrombos thrombocytosia that's all and that was uh, a short introduction in, in how to determine on a capillary sample uh, a full five part analysis